within a matter of minutes, in a day, everything just it crumbled for me. And I was down in our basement at work, throwing boxes around, and that's when it hit me. I had the chest pain, um, dropped me to my knee. I had the tingling in the, the arm went numb, my jaw, cold sweats. And it lasted for about 15, 20 seconds. And at that point, I started thinking, you know, maybe this isn't the heartburn that I thought I was getting. I finished working, you know, I went home. My son is the one actually that I want to say, I give him all the credit in the world. He's the one that actually told me to go to the doctor that night when I had gotten home from work. Um, we were getting ready to watch a basketball game. He looked straight at me and he said, Dad, go, go get it checked out and we can watch the game tonight. And that was hard. It was hard for me, to, for him to see that, to see how I was suffering. My son said to me, come on, Dad, let's, let's go get you ready. And my daughter, same thing. Come on, Dad, what do you need to take with you? And I was like, I don't need anything. I'll be back in a little while. Uh, when I came to Griffin Hospital, we came right in, we registered, and the lady asked, what are you, you know, what's the matter? What are your symptoms? And my wife said, he's having chest pain. Immediately, the staff, whether there was eight patients, one other patient, they stopped what they were doing and everybody gave me the attention. After the surgery, I was in the hospital for three days and then I began my cardiac rehab here at Griffin Hospital. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But let me tell you, the staff over there made the transition for me the best ever. I wouldn't be here again today without them, without them taking the time for the one-on-one, -on -one, for the classroom work, for helping me, teaching me, guiding me, training me, basically, to be physically fit and for me to get a full understanding. The people that are there, they care. They care very much so. They don't, you're not a number to them, like some places. They, they are more, they're personal with you. They watch you, they guide you through everything. And the biggest thing is they care. You put all those people in front of me, I'll hug them. Thank them. You saved my life. From the lady at the reception desk when I walked into Griffin Hospital that day, all the way down the line to the people at the rehab, cardiac rehab, I, each and every one of you, I think. Because without them, I wouldn't be here. I firmly believe that. If you were experienced what I felt that day, immediately call 911. Get in the car, get a ride, call for an ambulance. Don't hesitate. Don't wait because it almost, it, I wouldn't be here if I was that stupid.